Hello, this is K5VNB again. I'd like to introduce to you now a new way to use the All-Star system. At the UK All-Star Hub, we've developed a bootable flash drive and menu system for your standard PC or laptop. This will allow you to use a Debian-based Linux distribution and the custom asterisk slash All-Star software without the need to commit your hard drive to a full OS install. Now let's look at the requirements. Go to UKAllStarHub.com and click on Blog. Find All-Star on a flash drive and take a look at the requirements here. Um, basically you need a PC or laptop with a gig of RAM. Uh, it needs to be able to boot a USB drive. Um, you'll need an 8 gigabyte flash drive or larger. Um, you're going to need a node number assigned by allstarlink.org. Um, you're also going to need some sort of audio hardware, um, a USB sound device, either consisting of a USB headset, which can be used in a radioless mode, or your radio interface sound device, either designed for All Star, which is plug and play, uh, or designed for Echolink which is a custom configuration. Then you'll need the image to download and write to your flash drive and you'll find it right here. Now to simplify the, the video capture I'm going to log in via SSH on port 22 to go through the menu. Um, the very first time that you log in, you will type in root as the login and allstar deb as the password. That's allstar delta echo bravo. Now, in the very first login, you will be required to change your root password. Uh, to something unique to you and to enter in your call sign, node number, and node number password as assigned by allstarlink.org. Then you'll proceed to this menu. Uh, as you've seen, subsequent logins will not require you to enter in the setup information. Um, Subsequent reboots will also not require you to enter in your setup information. I'll go through the menu items now very quickly, just so you can get an idea of what they are. Um, most of them are self-explanatory, so um, I'll go back and, and touch on the ones that I think are uh, important to know some detail on. Uh, status will show you your connections. Connect will, of course, connect you to a numbered node. So you'll need to know the node number. Search Connect, you can search for a node. And there's the UK All Star Hub, for example. Disconnect from all nodes. Transmit, if you have a USB headset. Adjust your audio levels. Show your transmit audio. This is particularly helpful for a USB headset. Advanced networking, including setting up Wi-Fi. You won't have to touch this if you have a wired connection, most likely. Uh, run the setup program that you did at, on the very first uh, login. Or shut down the machine. 
Now let's look at a typical connect procedure, starting with your first time uh, in a USB headset. You want to adjust your audio, your speaker level, your mic level, and your auto gain control. Most likely want the auto gain control on uh, for a headset and off for a radio. The dot key or period key will toggle this between on and off. Make sure your mic is not muted, as in this case, and is turned on and has a reasonable level. Escape, show audio, testing one, two, three, and it looks pretty good. Control C to quit. Connect to a node. In this case, let's connect to um, um, the UK All Star Hub. Tab will will go to the OK, or just Enter will work as well. Status. and it shows we've been connected for three seconds at this point. Now at this point I can transmit, but I'm not going to transmit to to the hub at this point. I will just disconnect from all nodes. You'll hear a beep in, in the headphones or on the radio to indicate that the disconnect worked and you can also check your status. No connections. Now, since I'm not connected to anyone now, I'm going to test the transmit. Holding down the space bar, test one, two, letting up from the space bar. Escape to quit. All right, we'll leave advanced networking for now, um, but I'd like to show you that you can hit Control C at any point in the menu to get to a command prompt. Um, as it says, you can also type all star menu to get back to the menu. Once you're in the command prompt, you can do just about whatever you'd like. And that would be the basics of operation on the all star flash drive. Be sure to visit ukallstarhub.com and uh, Check for more uh, updates and future releases. 73.